Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, sorry for the whole stuff. I was sick and stuff. I don't know how to get that away. But, uh, I figured out the whole multiplayer thing. But, so we've done a bit of the introduction campaign. Introduction campaign. Stinking. Maybe we should do. Let's do the Renaissance campaign. The art wave. Shaped as an art. As a wave. Sorry. Some halflings. And a, two potion sellers. And then we'll just do a bunch of archers. Okay, just three. See how three archers and a bunch of halflings. Oh, and two potion sellers do. It's hard to tell which side is getting destroyed. Looks like. Oh no. Yep. Gosh dang it. What if we just do the king and then a bunch of clovers to support him? Uh, next video, I, next video I make on this game, I might start to play around with custom content, some maps I want to see if I can have, but, it's like the king is all that was needed, king and his Lover army. Let's get a, the king down here. Can't get another king. So we'll just put a knight up here. We'll imply the same strategy. And I should have probably looked at what we had for enemies before I put this strategy in. But the knight and the king are doing pretty good. How much health do you have? He got down to half of his health. King's pretty strong. Alright, I don't think we'll want the king for this. Two ninjas. I don't think samurai will be good. We'll do some firework archers. In ancient Greece with their snake archers. Those snake archers in the dynasty haven't failed us before, mainly because we haven't used them before. <laughs> I 
if you want me to start playing around with custom content, then hit the like button. Defeat. Maybe if I get some berserkers to go behind their lines and then put in a king. A bunch of clubbers. Because you know the strategy. If you don't fa if you keep failing, send guys behind their lines and have your king charge the enemy with a bunch of Guys wearing bones and holding a giant club. Holy crap. The guy died all the way over here? Or I think a guy's weapon was just flung over there. Whoa! Dead bodies are jumping everywhere. Oh, it's because we still have a berserker. Alright, new strategy. King of Berserkers. Alright, yeah, we're gonna want Berserkers. Brawlers. Knight. And Clubbers. Slowly downgrading. Take out their musket lines and go into chaos. Because that's what happens when you have physics based combat. Everything just goes into chaos. Star formation. I've got a counter for that. It's called jumping behind you to distract you. And then, having a ruler, we'll just have a bunch of ninjas this time. Only three ninjas. Whenever I say a bunch, I just mean a few, apparently. But the Jarl does have an ability. And I don't know what those swirls are. The ninjas aren't doing too good. There's only one left. And then the Jarl. Jousters? We'll have a weak unit for you to... for distraction. And apparently medieval's all the way over there. And then I'll have a bunch of archers back here. And a bard in the middle. Three units to distract you guys. Fire! Yeah. All right. Four thousand. I think I have an idea. Oh wait. Put the yarrow. Actually, I'll put them last. Put a bunch of head butters for these guys to be distracted by this music is really loud then I'll put a Jarl and then the king of Tabsville I can't put the king 
I'll just put his archers. And then if the headbutters aren't enough, there's one guy with a club. Oh, I forgot that they have a new ability where they come crashing down like a meteor. Well, the important thing is, hopefully the Yarl doesn't fly up and die. No, he has fallen. And there goes our army. Hmm. What if No. Ninjas are too expensive. We can keep them at bay. These balloon archers are too good. An idea. Those guys. Ah. All right. This whole tactic. It's formed around berserking. Getting rid of those balloon archers as fast as possible. And then just hoping we can survive these guys. Gosh dang it. We do have 4,000. Only if I could put this guy on top of him. Hopefully they all grab onto the mammoth, but since they grab onto his feet, oh. mammoth, why did you have to charge? Is this the winning strategy? Boom, mammoth for the victory. And now we've got the tank. So, you've got a tank. Which fires a bunch of small rocks. If we're able to fire a bunch of big boulders, then maybe we'll be able to win. Nope. 
Maybe if we fire a bunch of arrows. We destroyed the tank. It's hard to see, but there's Da Vinci. He's got the crosses over his eyes, and he clipped through the tank. Maybe two monkey kings and a dragon. Get that Da Vinci tank. Alright, this seems like it could be the winning strategy. Here we go. Dynasty is just really strong. Surrounded by fencers. Now fences... I think dodge projectiles. But pers berserkers... Seem pretty strong. So maybe they'll be able to destroy the muskets before they can even hit somebody. Horses. We can jump behind the horses and dodge their attacks. Then maybe we could take them out from behind, or we could jump into the river. But we got a horse into the river. There goes the horse. Oh my gosh, that weapon flew far. Yeah, that's kind of the problem when you're jumping a ton next to a river. Is this now just a game of who can jump over the horse without getting stabbed by their jousting lance? There goes the ice archer. The Jouster is slowly taking out my troops. Unless they do whatever this guy's doing. There he goes. Can't jump forever. Valkyries are strong. And they're in the air. So I think they'd be better at destroying these guys than Berserkers would. Apparently not. Maybe two Zeus's, actually. I'll put those Zeus's a bit spread out, spread out, so the horses don't just go for one spot and take out two Zeus's. Doesn't really look like that mattered. Let's sneak archers. Might be able to. No, I don't think the snakes. No, the snakes are not.
Maybe we can knock them off their horses. Took out one horse with the first salvo. Took out, oh, just one horse. And we lost. Like stepping on the jousting lances, it's making a noise. Alright. You wanna try doing protection for the muskets? We'll just jump around. <coughs> We can take out your muskets. But berserkers, how could you? There's one pretty ultimate strategy. Five thousand in clubbers. Somebody needs to up the military spending. Rush them. You can't hit us if we're right below your musket or if you're trying this. You literally shot the floor. King Yarrow. Oh, that weird thing above his head is a speed buff, I think. Oh, there's our last unit. A guy got him from behind another guy. Alright, how about... I don't just try the same strategy over and over again. Only got one night. Probably should have gone for more than one night. Alright, remove the catapult and put more archers in.
is eight catapults. I will get immediately get half of them destroyed. Yeah, I didn't think this would work. We've got fast projectiles. We'll just run fast. And apparently dodge quite a few of your projectiles. What is going on? How does one defeat this? I'll think about that. All right, I've had a moment to think about that. Ugh. I've had a moment to think about that. And in order to destroy an army of this concept, this is no longer the campaign. I do already have some modded units, but... This is no longer the campaign. So... I'll just try and keep it below... 8,000. But now, like, I can use the Grim Reaper in a bunch of... Pumpkin catapults. I've got to remove one because I'm. Actually, I'll just keep it below 8,850. 
just to show you that if you had more factions and more a bit more money you could probably beat them Probably not with these guys, but maybe with a good pal clams. Prepare for lag. Keep it down at 8,000. Got like a thousand guys just charging and destroying the enemy. But they've reached the lines of the musketeers. Have ruined this. Can Artemis destroy this army? I know Artemis has kind of maybe been nerfed. Only with one bow, but yeah. There's nothing after that. Uh, maybe Napoleonic frames can. I'm just joking. Maybe the secret faction. There's something in here that I haven't. Well, the Chuko News are pretty strong. Gosh dang it. Hmm. Maybe if I put a wrap, like two raptors, Chuko No, and a bunch of cheerleaders. Oh, that's too many. There we go. Maybe then the Chukonu might be able to. If we got lucky and got a tall Chukonu, so the Chukonu can fire over all the cheerleaders. But it doesn't seem like a super buffed Chukonu can do it. Which necessarily just leaves me to one last choice. We got a mammoth. Got divine arbiter somewhere apparently. Holy crap! I haven't ever seen that animation. I've used that unit, but not seen that animation.
present elves can't do it. And who can? I'm trying to stick to the limitation of 8,000. But in a minute. Yeah. I'll show you what I would do if I didn't have an 8,000 limitation. Put some raptors in. Secondary cavalry. This is probably what would happen if you gave me unlimited money in the campaign. Well, if I had to face this, and I had as much resources as I needed, this is what they would have to face. And I think they wouldn't want to face it. So you're just this guy down here, and you're like, oh, these guys... Those guys and the guys behind me should be able to take care of that. And then you realize there's a god, some ice wizards, I think, a witch, a guy that throws like 10 shurikens a second. And a guy with a special katana. Some guys that look like they're just holding knives. Guys that literally summon other guys. Well, these guys summon clams, but these guys summon guys. You wouldn't want to be these musketeers. Now, if I were confined to one unit, minus the present elf, I would probably pick... the tank. So let's see if an army of 15 tanks can take out a renaissance army. A modern day versus renaissance.
Renaissance versus Renaissance. Just throw in a bunch of those guys. After they fire, just charge in. Perfect strategy. Just charge straight through the line. They're probably going to get destroyed if these guys weren't there. And remember, subscribe because I got a special coming up. And I spent quite a bit of time on this. And this guy looks worried. He should be. Because he's got to face a giant army. And see ya next time.